Welcome everyone to our Assisting Transitions in Virgo Esoteric Healing Meditation. Master DK tells us, you must learn increasingly to work under the influence of the law of abstraction. This is a law which is ever present in the world in relation to the processes of death. The aspect of its importance in connection with physical death is deemed of slight importance in comparison to its emphasis in connection with the world of thought. This can refer to the abstraction of the life principle from the physical body in response to soul command. It can also refer to a cycle of physical plane conditioning of, or circumstance, to the termination of a relation to a physical plane group, or to the abstraction of an interest regarded hitherto as basic. This law applies to the termination of the outgoing affection towards a person or a group of persons upon the astral plane, the severing of connection with specific lines of thought. This may refer to the <laughs> need, which may dawn increasingly upon the disciple as he draws closer to the ashram. It is the law of abstraction which lifts a disciple out of the three worlds of human endeavor. It is this same law which brings about the upward drive which all units of life express and the search of all of them for identification with the one. It is with this law that you, along with all your disciples, all disciples, must learn to work. We are now entering the time of Virgo. Master DK tells us, Virgo is from certain angles quite the oldest of all the signs. The life of the third divine aspect played upon the ocean of quiescent matter and prepared that substance over untold eons for its work in this solar system. It is in this solar system that the Christ child, the expression of the divine consciousness and the result of the relationship of father spirit and mother matter must be brought to the birth. He goes on to tell us the keynotes of Virgo convey their meaning clearly and there is no need for me to elucidate. On the ordinary wheel, the command goes forth in the following words, which institute the activity of Virgo. And the word said, let matter reign. Later upon the wheel of the disciple, the voice emerges from the Virgin herself. And she says, I am the mother and the child. I, God, I, matter am, bringing forth the hidden light of God. In Virgo, as one of the signs of the triplicity of material expression, life makes its, its inner pressure felt and the movement, faint yet real, of the hidden life begins to pulsate within the concrete form. The first thrill or response of the Christ life is to the pull, urge, or suggestion of the form nature wherein it finds itself. Then later, when all the resources of the form nature drawn out through desire are exhausted and the Christ life is exceedingly strong and ready to reveal itself through the death of the mother, the form, then and not till then is the progress on the wheel of the wheel arrested and revolution takes place with the life aspect reversing itself upon the wheel. Then the disciple as an expression of the Christ life in its early manifestation, manifested stages begins his career objectively and in full consciousness in the sign of Taurus and on the wings of aspiration proceeds towards Virgo and being both the mother 
and the child enters into the house of labor. So we begin this, heal this special healing service in Virgo. Our intention is to assist aspirants and disciples in transition. And during this period, the group, their careers, close associates and groups under the law of abstraction. We start with the point of soul focus. Raise the consciousness into the head, as high in the head as you can. Carry consciousness upward through the astral body and the mind to the soul. Visualize a lotus fully opened, scintillating with light as a symbol of the soul body. Visualize the, visualize the light expanding, radiating. From that point, assume the attitude of the observer. Observe the personality below. Visualize the etheric body see energy flowing freely up and down the etheric spine. Consciously throw soul energy down into the center at the base of the spine using indigo blue light, the second ray. Then raise it slowly via the five centers up the etheric spine, then to the Ashna center and crown up into the soul body. From that point, we sound the soul mantra. I am the soul. I am light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. Now we begin with the five petals of the egoic lotus. From the soul vehicle, 
the causal body draw down intelligence and love. We bring in alignment of the centers for the flow of intelligence within the egoic lotus. The knowledge, knowledge petals, the knowledge, love petal, the knowledge, sacrifice petal, love, knowledge, and sacrifice knowledge. See the stream of a beautiful, pure light green flowing into the mental base. the mental sacral, the mental solar plexus, the mental spleen. And there, unifying as it pours into the etheric throat center, up to the alta major center, and flushes the brain with this great flow of intelligence. And now align the centers with the flow of love. The knowledge love petal, the sacrifice love petal, the love knowledge petal, the love love petal, and the love sacrifice petal, pouring into the astral head, to the astral ashna, the astral throat, the astral heart, the astral solar plexus, the astral sacral, and base. And again, up into the etheric heart center. Then up to the pituitary gland. And see that beautiful rose stream of love into the whole nervous system. A beautiful rose light emanating through the auras. Now allow the flow of intelligence and love into your being and into the group. Move easily and swiftly into alignment with Master Dwakul and our group soul. We visualize the souls of all of our group members. We move into alignment with Master Dwakul. We move into close alignment as a group. including those working with us from the other side of the veil. Now we sound the protective formula, invoking the assistance of the healing angels and the protective aura of the Christ. using the sign of the cross of divinity. The center in the forehead, the center in the chest, the left eye and then the right eye. As we sound together, as the soul we work in light and darkness cannot touch us, we take our stand within the light 
we work, and from that point, we never move. To recognize and strengthen our unity, our radiance, our service, as we sound. Radiance we are and power. We stand forever with our hands stretched out, linking the heavens and the earth, the inner world of meaning and the subtle world of glamour. We reach into the light and bring it down to meet the need. We reach into the silent place and bring from thence the gift of understanding. Thus, with the light we work and turn the darkness into day. Now we align the centers for the flow of energy from above using the triangles that we have learned. Superimposing each triangle at the highest level, the extraplanetary triangle, the avatar of synthesis, the spirit of peace, and the Buddha. The avatar of light. Superimposing that triangle on the planetary triangle of Shambhala, hierarchy, and humanity. Superimposing those triangles on the triangle of the Christ, Dwell Cool and the Healing Angels. Seeing the light flowing into our group centers, the Crown Chak, Ashna, and Altar Major, and the love, will, and intelligence plant petals of our own egoic lotus. See living lines of lighted energy, the flowing of healing energies, going down through all the triangles. And now focus, step down, vitalize and direct that energy into your will petals, the love petals, the intelligent petals, the soul triangle as integrated with the group soul. Pause now and see the flow into the chakra triangle. The head, the ashna center and the alta major center. into the gland triangle, the pineal, the pituitary body, and the carotid gland. Into the ajna, the right eye, and the left eye, the ajna triangle. With this alignment, we sound the following mantra. With purity of motive, inspired by a loving heart, we offer ourselves for this healing service. This offer we make as a group to those in transition and their immediate circle of carers, companions, and group associates, all those we seek to assist under the law of abstraction.
Now see this lotus growing and expanding and call to mind those specific individuals in those groups we are seeking to offer this assistance at this time in Virgo. As we visualize the stream of healing energy that flows into our group and focus our attention, we offer our group as a channel through which the Christ, hierarchy, and the angels can pour their love, light, and magnetism. See that light and magnetism flowing into our group from and through the Christ, the hierarchy, and the angels. As we visualize the stream of healing energy that flows into our group and focus our attention, healing the cleavages, assuring soul presence and guidance in the transition. soothing the astral field of the receiving serving group. Strengthening the heart center of the serving group in the transition of their companion and group member. And now we visualize the stream of healing energy that flows into our group and focus our attention, dissipating the glamour of the fear of physical transition and changes that will occur for the individual and the group. We visualize our group surrounding those in transition. We see the group soul and our group members focusing, stepping down, vitalizing and directing healing energies. In and through as we sound. slowly and deliberately. May the love of the one soul focused in this group radiate upon you aspirants and disciples in transition on these energies of Virgo and support all those assisting you permeating every part of your body. healing, soothing, strengthening, and dissipating all that hinders your smooth transition. From this physical incarnation into the soul body, assuring your continued service as one with the soul. We pause as we visualize and direct the healing, soothing, strengthening, dissipating energies to all that hinders the transition. We sense, see, 
know the subtle changes are occurring. Withdraw healing energy from the back, hands back to the brain, to the ashna, and back to the soul. We thank the inner group of souls who have joined us subjectively for their participation. We thank the, Ma the Christ and Master D. Twakul for the radiating presence and protection. We thank the healing angels and the Davis for their contribution and their magnetism. In closing with the expression of thanks, we sound the ancient prayer. Thank you, I have three. O thou who givest sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return. Unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by a disk of golden light, that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey to thy sacred feet. Master Drakul tells us that the initiate has always to express in and each sign of the zodiac, the consummation and the spiritual fruit of earlier life experience, world experiment and soul achievement. Selfishness has ever to be translated into living active service and desire has to be demonstrated its meat transmutation in the purity of spiritual aspiration for identification with the will of God. May we as a group actively hold our intention of selfless service for the birth of the Christ in the heart of all humanity as we move deeply into the energies of Virgo. where life makes its inner pressure felt and the movement, faint yet real, of the hidden life begins to pulsate within the concrete form. Let us together distribute that light. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. 
may Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh, oh.